How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be doing a pros and cons on the new Nexus 7. Uh, this is going to be pros and cons. Worth it or waste is the question. And uh, basically we're going to dig into some of the things that they're doing well. Some of the things we didn't like so much about it. And at the end, end of the review we're going to ask the question. Is it worth it or is it a waste? To hopefully help you guys make a decision if you want to pick one up or not. Okay. So let's start with the pros. I have to jump right into one of the first pros which I was so excited about which is the fact that they have added a rear camera so now you have a rear camera and a front facing camera uh, front facing camera is 1.2 megapixel the rear one is 5 and uh, this was so huge because I'm one of those guys who I love to snap a picture of things like if if I see something I like I don't want to write it down I'd rather just snap a picture of it and I have it with me so the fact that I didn't have a rear camera kind of made it a little frustrating um, you know you can video chat with the front facing camera but that's about it you know so I don't do a lot of video chat I'm the opposite I like to take pictures of stuff so I'm, that's why I'm glad they added a rear camera uh, it also does open the door to download like uh, Instagram, Vine, and you can shoot videos and stuff. So that's definitely, to me, a big plus. Being able to use all those new social media apps as well and not be limited by only one camera. Okay? And just to show you, on the original Nexus 7, there was no rear-facing camera. So um, that was one thing I felt that held this device back is how come they couldn't just go ahead and put a, uh, a rear camera on there. But we're not going to sit the whole video on that one point. Let's move on. So they have upgraded the uh, feel. It, it does have a new style to it. This is actually a matted uh, black finish, which is very similar to what the Kindle Fire HD had. And um, as you can see, this is the old Nexus 7 right here. Um, and I, I liked this feel because it had kind of a grip to it. But the matted feel actually gives it a more premium look. And it also is still nice and easy to hold it. So um, I like what they did with the back. And it's a little bit nicer, you know. So that was our second pro right there. Um, third pro is going to be it's a lot faster so this does have a uh, qualcomm snapdragon processor on it i want to say it was a 1.5 uh, gigahertz processor so it's nice and quick uh, great for playing games as well as you know all the basics from just the web surfing to a uh, little fun apps. I mean, it's, it performs at a nice quick speed, and so um, that new processor definitely helps out with that. It does also come stock with Android uh, uh, 4.3, which is Jelly Bean, so you are getting the latest Android software. And one of the benefits of that is um, so you have the new separate swipe down screen. So on this one screen, you actually have. Um, like notifications and on the right is where you have all your switches so that's kind of cool um, as well as you also have lock screen widgets so you can actually add different widgets to the front and when you wake it up you can have those different widgets show up without you having to actually unlock the device so I love lock screen widgets I definitely take advantage of those and that's one of the big benefits of it coming with uh, 4.3 Android on it alright uh, so Moving on, uh, they have doubled the storage now. The original Nexus 7 only came with 8 gigabytes, whereas now this comes with 16 gigabytes. And so the benefit of that is you can download a lot more apps because, as we know, apps can't be stored on an external device or external memory card. Now, granted, it doesn't have a memory card slot, but having double the storage means you can't put more on it. So if your thing is music, if it's movies, you got more storage for that. Or if you just want to download a whole bunch of apps, you're not limited. You can download a lot more app stuff too without having to be afraid and keep deleting things in order to make room for new apps. So definitely think it was worth it to double the storage on there. and It's a great value as well for you, the consumer. Okay. Um, it also is, uh, it's over one ounce uh, uh, lighter than the original Nexus as well as it's thinner. This is the uh, old Nexus, this is the new one. So uh, the new one is a lot thinner and it is lighter. It does have a better feel to it. So um, just adding to the laundry list of, they've made a lot of cosmetic improvements as well as beefing up the processor. So, you know, you're really getting a whole new device that, um, 
is going to perform so much better. Even the original Nexus was great, but this one is really the next generation, next level up. Uh, as well as, uh, if you wanted to upgrade to the 32 gig, because it does come in a 16 and a 32 gig, it's only $40 more to do that. I actually recommend, if you're going to get one of these, go ahead and spend a little bit extra, pay the 269 get the bigger one. Get the 32 gig. Now think about it, if you were to have, if you were between this and an iPad, the iPad for 329 the iPad mini, excuse me, you get 16 gigabytes. Here you can get 32 gigs and you're paying 269 You're still paying over $50 less and you're getting more storage, faster device. So uh, if you're trying to decide between these two, it's a no-brainer that this one is definitely more bang for the buck. So uh, that's kind of all the pros right there. Let's go ahead and hit the cons. First con, this is always a big thing for me. There's no expandable storage. So that 16 or 32 gigs is all you get. You cannot add a, a micro SD card slot, can't expand the memory, and that sucks just because if you wanted to store more movies, which take up the most space, you can't do that. You, you have to really work with the storage that you get. So um, there are a lot of cloud services where you can like upload stuff to the cloud. The only problem is if you don't have an internet connection, you can't access them. So I really wish they had added that micro SD uh, slot so that you could expand the memory. The next thing is they have taken off the video output for this as well. So they're, they're um, actually, take that back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there was never video output. But uh, I think it kind of sucks that they don't have like a micro HDMI out on it. Uh, even if you didn't want to plug it up to your TV, you can't do that. So that kind of sucks as well. So that is another con. Um, the next one is the, the charge that comes in the box is really short. So if you actually want to plug this in, like while you're working on the couch, like your plug would have to be really close. So you would have to use an extension cord. It's a small thing, not a big deal, but... I just feel it's important to share those minute details because, you know, it's always helpful when a charger is nice and long. You can plug it in and still, you know, not be super close to the wall to use it. Unfortunately, they have given you a short cord where you would have to purchase one that is longer. Um, the last con I would say is this device is more expensive than its predecessor. Uh, it is retailing for $229. The original Nexus 7 came out for $199. Um, so I was a little disappointed that they did raise the price. Now granted they did add the camera, the, the, the rear camera, as well as they did double the storage. So I get maybe that's where they said, hey, we can charge a little bit more because we did really improve the device. But I really would have loved to have seen it come in right at that 199 price point and really compete with the, um, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0, no, uh, sorry, Tab 3. Now keep in mind this. The Tab 3 7.0 is 199 which is a great price, don't get me wrong, but uh, it does only have 8 gigabytes of onboard storage. So you're limited in how much you can actually put on the device, whereas with the Nexus 7 you do have double the storage, so you really don't have to worry about you know, being choosy with your apps. You can just download a whole bunch of stuff. So, in that regard, the, the Nexus 7 is a little bit better than the Tab 3, even though the Tab 3 does have a really nice look to it. I think I like on the Tab 3 how it doesn't have all this extra space. It's a very sleek and compact look. And that was probably my last con, was that, you know, there's all this extra screen right here that's just nothing up here and up here. And they kind of just made it a really long device. And I didn't totally understand that. But I think maybe Maybe what they were going for was you being able to hold it without touching the screen. I get that, but it just looks weird when you hold it in portrait. So that was my only other, not that big of a deal, but just felt it was important to mention. So to go back and ask the question, worth it or waste, I would give it a drum roll, please. I would say this device is definitely worth it. Uh, even though you're paying a couple of extra dollars, um, you will not be uh, disappointed with it. Again, it's quick. It has a great screen on it. It is light. Uh, you know, it's it's a massive upgrade from the original Nexus 7, and you can do so much with it. So I definitely recommend this. 
Uh, and for every age group, for the teen who just wants to sit on Facebook and create some Vine videos and, and Instagram, you got your rear camera. For the older person that says maybe I just want to like do basic web browsing, email, you got those features as well as reading. It's going to be a great screen for being able to do the e-reading. Um, even for the person that just wants to sit on and play games, it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, so it is going to be a lot faster. So I feel like this is this tablet is a win for every age group, every person. You're not going to be dissatisfied if you do pick up the new Nexus 7. I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video, share it, and favorite if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash hgtechvideos. And follow us on Instagram at hgtechvideos. A lot of giveaways are going to be going on in the holidays and you don't want to miss out on it. It will only be open to our Facebook and Instagram followers. So make sure you... Follow us on those, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and have a good one.